Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and in the recent light of the announcement of Forza Motorsport, we'll actually be taking an afternoon or an evening here playing Forza Motorsport 7 uh, in the online multiplayer. Again, I haven't really dealt with the online multiplayer at all in Forza Motorsport 7, but I felt now would be a good time to revisit the game and uh, discuss I thought we'd take a little bit of time here to try out uh, the online multiplayer now that it's now in 2022. See if it still holds up to when it was released in 2017. All right. We're on the Le Mans circuit here. A whole eight laps in A class. Uh, my car is not quite 800 power points, but it is a solid. 750 so I'm hoping I'm hoping that we can if anything keep up with the pack progressively put the throttle down and we hit the grass there and it just drags us right in wow so if you look at the map they're they're gone so I'm glad that uh, Racing line isn't as accurate as it should be because there's some moments there. We're done. All right, here we are. The Ferrari 458 GT3 with no restrictions on gets us up to a power level of 898. We are on Watkins Glen. We are currently in six of seven, tailing behind cars here. There's a lot of uh, leg going on up front with the McLaren F1 GT over here. So let's see if we can avoid them. Maybe, maybe not avoid, but we at least got around them, so that was good. So we're about to momentarily lose our position here. I'm going to keep the outside quite open there. Figured that they were wanting to ram their way through. So give them a lot of space. Come around the outside there. Make a nice clean pass here. Fully expect them to ram me in a moment. Oh, nice clean racing too. I, I enjoy this. Snag the grass with the back right, no, back left tire there. Gets us to oversteer a little bit. Lost their position there, but we have a whole another five laps to make up time there. So they're going to break the, about there. Coast a little bit in fourth gear. Probably could have gone down to third, but pretty high of the revs in third, honestly. So we'll power it right on through there. The racing line said the brake. I'm going to brake for this one. <laughs> Should really stay out of the grass. It's thing that I've been finding here is in some racing games, you know, you touch the grass a little bit and it's just like an extended pavement. In other racing games, it's it just completely demolishes your race. So this is actually fairly realistic, so we'll be careful on that one. We've got our McLaren F1 GT coming right up behind us. We're gonna take the inside let him by there. Don't want to have too much trouble there. It seems like he's got a car with a lot of top speed. Really don't want to block him off there. He's got some substantial ping issues just all over the place. So if anything else, we should be giving him a lot of space just for that. <laughs> so lap three, we managed to shave off five seconds there but it didn't matter because we had exceeded track limits there uh, once again exceeded track limits so again we're going to keep our foot planted down there until we hit the wall <laughs> I should really stop going on the rumble strip and into the grass honestly and going to break a little bit later than usual felt a little bit of the oversteer in the back tires trying to kick out was able to rectify the situation by keeping it in line here about one second off of our previous lap of course we had that issue around 
Uh, turn two, I want to say that was. Trying to get on the power a little bit early there. This car has really got some oversteer problems. I guess that's what happens when you uh, remove the restrictor plates. Brings it up from 450 to like 750 for horsepower there. So this car is just a completely different animal than what it was normally when you have... when it's regulated to GT3 racing here. I imagine a lot of you have already been pretty upset with my uh, lack of race pace, and I don't blame you. But I am just kind of enjoying myself currently, just enjoying the sounds of the vehicle, enjoying the driving. Um, I mean, there's really not else I can really do otherwise, so... Sorry, I'm playing a video game. I'm enjoying myself. They're gonna... Increase the throttle pressure there. Perfect on the racing line. That was very good exit there. Instead of shifting up, we're gonna brake here. Put down the pressure once again, then we're gonna brake again. Kind of coast. I felt the snapper of the oversteer as my uh, tires were starting to touch into the grass, was starting to pull it in, and then release the back end. I was able to uh, correct that issue there, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, struggled on that racing line. Turn one has always kind of been a little bit of an issue for me, so... There we are, perfect. Two laps to go. We are 14, almost 15 seconds off pace. Again, these drivers really, really have their practice in, so... I'm up for a huge amount of challenge here. But again, like I said, I'm enjoying myself regardless. I know that these people probably play daily, have been playing for... daily for multiple years at this point. And that's all right. Because they're competing for podium, I definitely do not want to get in their way there because, again, my quality of talent is uh, basically non-existent. So my goal here is not to exceed track limits at all during this lap. Put in as best as a lap time that I possibly can. Now that it's taken me about six laps to really understand the course where the... Well, obviously where the racing line is. But at what points that I can push and what points that I can, you know, try to be a little bit more conservative on that kind of side. So breaking a little bit late on that side. <sighs> I guess we're just not going to have a good lap time. That's... No, oh well. Regardless, they should be able to finish the race, though. But this car is a little bit of a handful when you've got it tuned up a little bit. We've got those restrictor plates off there. Still trying to get used to it. Sixth place. I mean, what else would you would have expected? All right, three, two, one, and we are off. Starting at the back of the grid. We're able to hold off some rammers. Surprised that we're able to do that. We're gonna break down in here. Got some accents that we gotta watch out for. I'm hoping that we can use this time to uh, catch back up to the pack here, up into 18th. But yeah, look at all these cautions here. Able to make up at least a little bit of ground, so I'm quite happy with all this. Up into 17th. As uh, Mr. Rick had uh, gone wide and fallen off into the gravel track. A little bit there. Looks like he did so once again, so must be a very unfamiliar car set up for him, and I get it. I absolutely get that. So... Unfortunately, our lap time is uh, not going to be counted for us. We had a couple early incidents there. But 
Well, we'll push on through regardless. Up on the fifth, we're gonna drop down a couple of gears. We're gonna break, drop down another one. Gradually put down that throttle. Probably didn't need to go to first gear. But we got a caution ahead. Might be able to make up a spot here. Have some close racing with the Pierce to be Dodge Viper ECR from early 2010s, I imagine. Press down the brake a little bit to slow us down. Get us prepared for this uh, first chicane. So far, I'm really enjoying this vehicle. The, the Audi TTRS, uh, the race version. Yes, it does not have the speed of an absolutely, you know, balls to the wall supercar, but it is planted. It handles great. I want to say it's all wheel drive, so it just really adds to the fact that this car just does not have oversteer and honestly doesn't have that much understeer either, which is a really good combo here. But we're going to, we got a Ferrari here. Facing back into existence. Looks like that he's uh, going for a drift event there. So we'll keep our spacing there. Make sure that we're not ruining anybody's race by uh, being overtly aggressive there. Gonna break. Break. Down to the third gear. Follow the racing line in here. Our Ferrari up here went wide once again. Honestly curious if they're trying to go for a high drift score on the uh, Le Mans circuit here. Power back down. We're not quite yet going to break or shift up because we had that braking there. Just clipped that inside of the corner. So unfortunately our lap time is not going to count there. That was a really good clean lap so I was quite, quite proud of that one. But uh... Now I know what to kind of look out for. We can actually coast here, don't really need a break. So then we can finally break here. Down to third, probably could have been down to second. Touch the inside apex, up into the fourth, up into fifth. Coast a little bit, then really break. Went a little bit wide there, probably should have broke a little bit sooner. Right back down on the power. Up into this next hairpin. Break once again. Kind of coast. Fortunately, don't need a break anymore. So our Ferrari, just by nature of being a Ferrari, it's uh, our increased quite a big gap to their respective 16th position. Went a little bit wide there, so it doesn't look like our lap time is going to count there as well. Bummer. But it looks like that uh, we are gaining a couple of tenths there. As they're probably still thinking that it's a drift event. So we're going to go down to third. Caution ahead. It actually looks like the Ferrari went up a place and we had uh, maybe actually two places here. Looks like we got a Corvette also thinking it's a drift event. I think my eyes are mistaking me. I was thinking it was a Porsche Cayman, but I think that actually might be the uh, new 8th generation Corvette. So I'm actually going to go wide here. Coast a little bit, put the power back down. Brake, brake, brake. Maybe a little bit too fast for that corner, but you always got to try out something new if you think you can increase your lap time. Be careful, but go for it. So we're going to coast, and we're going to break here, because again, last lap we had learned the hard way. Not to break later than we should. The same situation, Blake breaking there. Kind of doing a little bit of a coast. Just slowly but surely putting that pressure back down. And hope that consistency is in fact king. 
Back down to third gear. We got another caution ahead. Outside wheels on the rumble strip there. Race is now going to end in about 40 seconds. I think we can do it. Hit our little chicane in third gear. Looks like our lap time once again was flagged for some reason. Thought it was a pretty good lap time. Don't recall having any uh, track limit kind of issues. I wonder if it had something to do with the safeties. Back down to second. Now we can say track limits. <laughs> Four, three, two, and across the line. Beautiful. I like that car. I really do. That was a that was a fun little car. So if I don't already have it purchased, I definitely will now. It's also an exquisite color scheme of black and blue. Love that. 